my name is Jenny Barron. I'm with Living Well Dallas. I have 19 years of experience uh, coaching and organizing and helping people make the changes in their lives that they want to see happen. And uh, when I think about busy parents, I think about a few things that could really transform the way the family interacts together on a day-to-day -day basis. The first thing that I want to talk about is called Power Hour. So this is an hour, and I really encourage this to be Monday through Thursday uh, for an hour uh, to really deal with all your life admin stuff and organization. And then everybody in the household um, has their list and they know what they're responsible for on those nights. So say for example, you have to think about the frequency of how often you want the task to happen. So for example, some people want to unload their dishwasher and put everything away. That could happen in some families, depending on the size of the family, once or twice a day. Um, I like alliteration, it helps me remember things, so I think of Master Bedroom Monday, your bedroom's on Monday. So that's when everybody um, sort of pitches in and deals with their bedroom and their bathroom, cleaning it up. And so it's not like a surprise, Monday rolls around and you go, oh, we gotta unload the dishwasher, we gotta put the dishes away, you know, we we're, we're, have to set the table, it's time to sweep the floor, we deal with our bedroom, and we throw in a load of laundry. And then somebody's responsible for after the laundry's done, putting it away. So my goal is always try to get as much of life administration and organization projects small, a little bite every day, sort of like a little bite of that big elephant in the house, okay? And it's assigned to every person in the household. And I also say make organization fun. So this is another part of making Power Hour fun and getting everybody on board. First of all, if you have a structure and everybody knows what they're supposed to do, that is helpful. And then the second thing is let's put everybody's name in a hat or a fishbowl or you know, a candy jar, whatever you want to do. And then that person gets to pick the music for either that night or the whole week, whatever your family decides. And then you can have snacks, you can have music, you can make organizing fun. And then so that way people start, everybody in your family starts associating it that way. Now if you're going to do a large organization project, let's say like you want to attack the garage or attack a big closet, you know, because now it's like spring cleaning. Um, then you want to really set aside, you know, three, four or six hour blocks of time well in advance so that everybody knows that this is coming. Uh, we don't want to throw big projects like that on people uh, in our family because then it causes resentment and irritation and we want to reduce that, right? So um, I encourage you to try Power Hour on for size uh, because I want you to think about it this way. You only have 168 hours to spend your life each week. So in my opinion, the more structured you are in the things that have to's, then you have more time for date night with your spouse, whether that be in the house, um, after the kids go to bed, like an internal date night is what I call that, or more time with your family or more time for yourself, um, or all of the above. The more scheduled you are with your time, actually, the more you can accomplish. Uh, so I just really want to encourage that uh, to think about, you know, how are you spending your 168 hours? Is it the way that you desire? Um, I'm going to also have another little quick clip on um, the three types of dating that I think help keep a marriage alive. Um, so anyway, uh, check it out and I look forward to seeing you hopefully around living well. Bye-bye.